An 18 year old on a bad LSD trip in the back of a police car gets tased repeatedly. He died just a few hours later in police custody and for almost two years his parents didn't get to see the video we're about to show you. Now warning that dash cam video is hard to watch. It does contain some graphic images you might find disturbing, but his parents decided they want to share it with News 4 because they believe it should be made public. And as News 4 troubleshooter April Molina reports tonight, despite open records laws, there is still limited access to police dash camera and body camera video in Texas. If somebody dies in the hands of the police, if not at the hands of the police, this is when the doors should be flung wide open. You're looking at police dash cam video of 18 year old Graham Dyer banging his head around in the back seat of a Mesquite Police Department squad car. We're going to show you what led to his death coming up. It's not uncommon to request police videos such as this, but it is uncommon for it to be released in part because police are prohibited by law from releasing video of an in custody death while it is still under investigation. To give you some perspective, here are some numbers from the San Antonio Police Department. In 2018, there were 40,166 requests into the San Antonio Police Department for body-worn camera footage. SAPD only fulfilled 364 requests. In 2019, more than 44,000 requests were sent to SAPD for this type of video, and it was released just 249 times that year. You can't sit up and tell me that of the 44,000, the denial was because of a quote unquote investigation. Former prosecutor Senator Royce West, who helped get both dash cam and body cam bills passed during previous legislative sessions, has long understood the power of video, sometimes being used to hold law enforcement accountable, other times to exonerate them. I understand also that in many instances where you have a swearing match between a police officer and the citizens, the jury is going to normally go with the police officer. And so I wanted to make certain that there was additional evidence that the fact finder could utilize. But there are limitations to the state law as it's written. Even after an in-custody death investigation is closed, law enforcement may withhold the video if the case did not result in a conviction. Over and over thousands of times use that loophole to withhold um, records, especially video. She said, your son is in grave condition. If he survives, he will probably not be the same. Those were the first words Robert and Kathy Dyer would hear about their 18 year old son, Graham Dyer, the night he died while in custody of the Mesquite Police Department. <laughs> Police were called out on August 13th of 2013 because Graham was out of control in a drug induced psychosis. Somewhere in the Malay, maybe getting him in the squad car or something. He bit one of the officers. After an initial confrontation with an officer, police video shows Graham on the ground being handcuffed, seemingly calm for almost 10 minutes. But about a minute into his ride in the back of the police car, his distress is apparent. His arms and legs are bound, but he begins flailing about, thrashing his head violently against the car door and then the back of the seat. Officers pleaded with him to stop, then pulled over. But instead of restraining him further, they tase him multiple times, first on the legs and then in the genital area for seven seconds straight. He's got an officer pulling his hair and another one pulling his feet. So he stretched out. By the time they reach the police station just a couple minutes later, Graham is in a much different state. And they like pull his limp body out and just let him flop around on the floor. Records show Graham was put in a restraint chair in a padded cell. And despite his injuries, no medical treatment given for at least two hours after he got to the station. At about 1.30, he was completely unresponsive. And then ambulance took him to the hospital. The cause of death, trauma to the head. And while it was self-inflicted, the Dyers say they filed a lawsuit because the officers failed to render aid. Their son, not properly restrained, or taken to the hospital. Kathy says they were initially asked if they wanted to view the video, but by the time they buried their son and called to schedule an appointment with police a couple weeks later, they were shut down. Graham's death now 
under investigation. But I think we need something specific that says when someone dies in custody, these records, all these records, all these videos will be made available. There was no conviction in her son's case, which allowed police the option of not releasing the video. In 2019, a law was passed allowing law enforcement to make body cam video available to a family in cases involving an in-custody death, but the law is limited. There needs to be a coalition that's built that understands the importance of transparency without jeopardizing the, an investigation. The Dyers and Senator West have pushed for greater accessibility of police video in past legislative sessions, and they plan to do it again in 2021. The demand for more transparency in policing now loud and clear. I'm News 4 troubleshooter April Molina.